Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. I'm back again and it looks like AMD has finally made a return with their completely new flagship model, the R9 Fury X. In this video I'll be comparing this new Fury X with Nvidia's GTX 980 Ti, a very strong competitor. In terms of pricing at the time of this video, both GPUs cost about the same, but who knows, the price of the R9 Fury X might as well could drop over time. But I don't want to spoil you too much at this point, so let's get straight to the benchmarks, because let's be honest, that's probably the only reason you're here. <music> Very, very interesting results indeed. I've expected the R9 Fury X to perform a little bit better though, but right now we really have to be more than happy with AMD's current achievements. The Fury X definitely outperforms their own 390X and therefore also Nvidia's GTX 980. Unfortunately, AMD still doesn't manage to beat the powerful 980 Ti or at least be as good as it. But let's think positive here and hope future driver updates improve the performance over time. As it is right now, not bad either, but the price should be a little lower. Overall, you could say the Fury X, however, is a real improvement. Thanks to the AIO water cooler, the graphics card runs perfectly cool, while remaining very quiet on full load. Something that hasn't just bothered me though, is the high-pitched noise the pump emits. Nothing extreme, but it's not very nice. Still overall much much quieter than Nvidia's 980 or 980 Ti reference cards. Even the power consumption improved on this card drastically, while still consuming about 14% more power than its opponent, the GTX 980 Ti, it does consume about 24% less power than their own R9390X. In most games the Fury X loses to the 980 Ti, but there are games such as Tomb Raider where the Fury X comes out on top. I find it to be a weird move of AMD to equip this Fury X with just 4GB of VRAM, new HBM memory for great bandwidth and all, but the capacity remains to be 4GB, which is 2GB less than the GTX 980 Ti offers. I'm not saying you necessarily need more than 4GB right now, but things like that can quickly change in the upcoming years. AMD's R9390X for instance offers 8GB. Now you know why I call it a weird move. So the Fury X didn't perform as well as I've expected it to do, but AMD did a really good job with this one. Finally a good power consumption. I will admit the 980 Ti has a super good power draw, but the Fury X can finally be called efficient as well, just not as much as the 980 Ti. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on this new release? Let me know. I hope you've enjoyed the short comparison video. Stay tuned for more with this graphics card. Next time I'll do benchmarks at the 4K screen resolution. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.